What's up, booktube? Welcome back. My name is Laura, if you're new here, and today I'm going over my most anticipated releases for January of 2021. So first of all, I am aware that it is literally halfway through January, and I'm like just filming and posting this video now. I fully forgot that I had plans to start doing a like monthly anticipated releases video at the start of the year. Completely forgot until like actually yesterday and I was like, oh shit, yeah, okay, I gotta do that. So, it, it, better late than never. <laughs> We're here now and that's all that matters. But yeah, every month I'm gonna start doing a like list of books that I'm looking forward to that are being released for the month. Some months I may not have a whole lot of books so I might skip a few months or like combine some if there's only a few for like two months in a row. And because these are all new releases and like a lot of them are books that people that I haven't heard people talking about too much, I might not know a whole lot about them. I'll know like the vague plot but uh, I like to go into books like relatively blind so I'm not gonna be giving like a really detailed synopsis of the books for the most part. Not just for this video, but like for every one that I do. But yeah, just be aware that this is not going to be the most detailed synopsis of these books that you'll find. It's more just a way to like bring them to your attention and like maybe if you haven't heard of them. A lot of them might be really, like really hyped books, but I have been told by people who watch my videos where I talk about uh, new releases from last year saying that they hadn't heard about a lot of the books that I talk about that were being released that year. So maybe a lot of the books that I read are like not that well known. So hopefully you find some like interesting new releases that you haven't heard of yet. But anyways, I'm just gonna get into the books. Uh, I've got seven things to talk about for January, so let's get right into it. And obviously the first few are going to have already been released because I forgot to do this video until now, but like, whatever. <laughs> Starting with Lore by Alexander Bracken. This one sounds so freaking cool. It was released on January 5th. And this one is being described as the Hunger Games, but with ancient Greek gods. It sounds fucking cool. From what I understand from the synopsis, there was some kind of rebellion with the gods and I think it's like Zeus banished them or something like that. And now every seven years, I think it is, all of the descendants of these gods get to run around New York and try and find them and murder them. And if they succeed, then they get to take the power of the god for themselves. So it sounds cool as hell. This one I cannot wait to get to. It's it's uh, already out. And I think this one has had quite a lot of hype around it. At least like in my circle of booktube, I've seen a lot of people uh, talking about this one. So you've probably heard of it, but I am hyped for it. And like that cover too, wow, wow. <laughs> Amazing. These next two books have also already been released and lucky for me, I just got them in the mail today. But the first one I'm so excited for. This is always my most anticipated release of the year. So if you know me, then you probably know what it is. But that is Across the Green Grass Fields by Shauna McGuire. He, it's in my hands. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is the sixth book in the Wayward Children series, which follows a school where children go after they have found their doors that takes them to a different portal universe, which they call home. And for whatever reason, they had to come back to like our world and now they're miserable and don't know how to cope in a world without magic where nobody believes that they went to this magical portal world and found life there. So they go to the school full of other people who are in the same boat as them and just learn how to live life here in the mortal world and also wait for their doors to open back up. This is the newest installment in the series. I absolutely adore this series with my whole heart. Portal fantasy is my favorite genre ever and like this series is a large reason of why I love it so much. I loved it before I found this series but I love it even more now because of it and just oh this series is so good. This one was just released on January 12th so it's just a couple days ago but look at this cover it's beautiful and I'm not sure if you can see it super well there but it says be sure in the branches right here and I love that so much. I don't really know what it's about. I know it has to do with centaurs. It's basically like a horse girl book, <laughs> which I am not a horse girl. Uh, I do have horses, but I'm but I swear I'm not a horse girl. But yeah, I'm I'm hyped. I don't really know what the plot is gonna be, but um, I will read literally anything that happens in this series. So I'm down. I'm so excited. And then also on January 12th is Tales from the Hinterland by Melissa Albert. This is super shiny in the light. Look how gorgeous. Oh my god. I didn't realize how beautiful the this book was gonna be until I got it in my hands earlier today. And like, look at, look at the end pages. Look at that, there's illustrations. Like, there's that one and like, the beginning of every story has these beautiful illustrations. There's these gorgeous edges around all of the, ev around every single page. And like each story, it's it's a different design around the edge. Um, my camera's probably not gonna focus, but I hope you can tell that it's different. Like, look at that. 
look at that amazing um anyway synopsis <laughs> this is from the world of the hazelwood i think it's just a duology so it's done now but that series is about a girl whose grandmother wrote this uh, book of fairy tales that went like wildly famous it has this like cult following almost but she and her mother have been on the run her entire life and wherever they stay for too long bad luck follows them so they just keep moving around keep running from whatever curse is chasing them. The main character has no clue what's going on and like why her life is like this. She finds out very quickly. For this duology I'm not the biggest fan of the like of, of the actual book and the plot and the characters. I hate hate the main character so much. I almost DNF'd the books because of her. Like the writing is pretty good so I liked that part of it. It was just the characters and the plot that I really didn't care about all that much. I liked the plot but the main character kind of ruined it. But the reason that, that I kept reading them is because of the world. This world is one of my all-time favorites like in any book series ever. It's also a portal fantasy but it's a portal into a fairy tale world. So it's basically this like dark enchanted wood and in these woods there are countless different fairy tales happening all at the same time. And so this book is just the book of fairy tales that the grandmother wrote in the book, which is what I wanted. Like if you look back on my review on Goodreads for the first book that I read a couple years ago now, I forget when, but it was a while ago. I think I wrote in that review that I really hope that the author publishes the book of fairy tales. And then she did. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited to read this book. And like, it's stunning. So I'm just happy to look at it. I cannot wait to read this one. I'm probably going to read it next month. I just, I can't wait for it. I'm so excited. Next up is The Ruthless Lady's Guide to Wizardry by C.M. Wagoner. Just so you are all aware, I it took me so long to say the title of that book. I think it took me like eight or nine tries to get it. I don't know why, I, I don't know what happened. My brain just malfunctioned, but it's fine. We're back. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. It is being released. All, oh, also on January 12th. Okay. January 12th release date. This one sounds so freaking cute. Oh my God. It is a sapphic historical fantasy romance about a thief who sees an ad wanting a female bodyguard. So she signs up to protect this like random rich lady from mysterious magical enemies. And she ends up falling in love with one of the other bodyguards. And it sounds really cute <laughs> and like exactly what I want in this world. Next up on January 19th is Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe. This one is outside of my normal genre. So I'm a little skeptical, but it sounds like something I might like. So I'm going to try a new genre. I might not like it, but I like the premise. But this one is a sapphic historical romance set in the 1950s in San Francisco's Chinatown. I have a hard time with historical fiction because it, it just makes me sad, to be honest, and I read books to be happy. So I'm not sure if I'll like this one, but like, can we just talk about the cover? Like, wow, <laughs> this cover is amazing. Honestly, that's like half the reason that I want to read it is because of the cover. So you know, even though it's a genre that, that I'm not a big fan of, I just really want to give it a shot and I want to like it very much. So we'll see. I, I'm, ho I'm hoping for good things. I'm hoping that I'll be surprised by it. Basically, I'm reading it because as I mentioned constantly, I am literally always looking for queer sapphic romance novels and I am just desperate to get my hands on them. So I will read it even if it's a genre that I'm not a big fan of, but I hope I love it. I really do. <laughs> Second from last, we've got When Tara Met Farah by Tara Pami. It is also a sapphic romance, so there's apparently a theme for January. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, like, at all. This is, like, everything that I want in my life is just to be surrounded by queer books about ladies being in love. You know? That just sounds, that just sounds lovely to me. So, <laughs> but this one is a contemporary romance. It's the sunshine grumpy dynamic where, like, the one character is super upbeat and happy and, and the other one is just a grump. I haven't read that dynamic yet in a romance book, but I think I would really like it. This one is about a girl who like, really needs a math tutor. It's an adult novel, so, so I'm not sure why she needs to like study math as an adult. Do you, I guess, but I would not like to do that. But regardless, she needs a math tutor and the love interest is a math genius and she really wants to be part of the Bollywood, what's it called? The Bollywood Drama and Dance Society, which the Sunshine Girl character is part of. So they strike up a deal where she'll teach her math if she gets her into the Bollywood Dance Society. So they start doing that and they fall in love. It sounds absolutely adorable. It's just everything that I want in a romance book, mainly because it is two women. <laughs> That's all that I want. I'm tired of straight people. But this one is coming out on January 26th. And last but not least is Wings of Ebony by JL. This one is also being released on January 26th. First of all, the cover. The cover though. Holy shit. Just do yourself a favor. Go to Goodreads. Look this book up. First of all, add it to your TBR like immediately. 
But then just hit the enlarge image button on the cover and just look at this picture zoomed in. Wow. Wow. It is amazing. It's beautiful. Whoever did this cover, like, I just, I applaud you. It's incredible. Anyways, I'm a little um, unsure of the premise of it with like how to describe it. I'm not quite sure what it's about, but basically from what I've gathered, this girl goes about her life thinking that she is a normal human. And then one day her mother is murdered on their front doorstep and her father, who she's never met, comes to take custody of her. He forces her to leave her little sister behind and he takes her to a world that she didn't know existed. And she finds out that she's actually a half God. So, you know, unexpected twists and turns in life. And then I'm not too sure what happens from there, but I, but like, I'm just here for the premise alone, to be honest. I know that she like ends up going back to the human world, which is a big no-no in the society and like shit gets real from there apparently, but I'm not too sure what else is going to happen and I'm fine not knowing anything else. The premise sounds incredible, so I'm just really here for it. And again, that cover. Wow. <laughs> And that is it. Those are all the books that I'm looking forward to in January of 2021. Lots of sapphic books. I am so here for this. This is amazing. But yeah, so let me know if you've heard of any of these books and if you're looking forward to any of them. And also uh, let me know if you have any other January releases uh, coming out soon. I would love to get some more recommendations, especially if they're queer. Just saying. But anyways, that should do it for today. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bye!